everyone, it's Marina Gonzalez, and so for this week's video, I'm going to be teaching you this new hairstyle, this new hairstyle that I like to wear, and I'm basically calling it my casual hairstyle number one, because um, it's basically one of the casual hair looks that I like to wear. I have a few casual looks that I, that I like to wear almost all the time, and I only wear these hairstyles for like casual nice days or for like casual nice occasions, and so... And so not for like form not for like anything fancy because like for fan for like fancy occasions I only wear like formal or like really nice hairstyles. So that's why I decided to teach you because this is a basic this is a pretty simple hair look that you can do and wear almost all the time. And so what it's gonna be, it's gonna be your hair in these really pretty waves that I've already done that I've already done yesterday. And what you're going to be doing, you're going to be taking these front sections right here and also a little from the also a little from the side and you're going to be tying them to the back with an elastic and just twisting it a little bit. And how I did and also how I got these waves is I used my curling wand and what I did is I curled my hair in sections and just like I showed you in my last video, instead of spraying the curls with hairspray, what I do is after I curl them curl them and I slide it off the iron. I let the curls cool for a second and then I brush them through and then they turn into these pretty waves. So this is a way, this is basically a new way for me to get these waves because I really love them and I think they're a very pretty look, they're a pretty look to wear. So that's pretty much about it and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to part your hair in the middle, which I've already done. And you're going to go ahead and start curling all of your hair in sections, but first I'm putting on my heat protective glove. So then, as you can see, you can probably see that my hair is already in the waves. I did that previously just for time's sake, but I am going to curl a few pieces on both sides just to show you how I got the waves. So I'm just taking my one inch iron and I'm just going to be curling a few pieces of hair on both sides of my head. So as you see right there, what you're just doing every time when you curl in sections, you're just going to curl, curl the hair, slide it off the iron, and let the curls cool for a few seconds. So as you can see, I'm just like curling maybe like three or four pieces on on my right side of my head. So as you see what I'm doing, see once I slide um, the hair off the iron, I'm just going to let the curls cool for a few seconds and then once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and curl a few more pieces on my left side. And so there, I curled a few pieces on one side, and now I'm about to do a few pieces on the other side. So after this, I'm just going to be, so after this, after I curl a few pieces on my left side, and then once I'm done, I'm going to brush out the curls just to show you how I got the waves. This is a great technique I love using, because if I just, because if I don't want to have curls in my hair, and I want to have waves, it's a great way to always brush out the curls to give you the waves. And there you go. So I've already curled a few pieces of my hair on both sides. I'm taking off my glove and now I am just going to brush through the curls. You see I gently brush through it and then they turn into these waves which I love so much. This is a great way of me to get this hair look. So 
So once you have curled your entire head and brushed out the curls, then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to create a you are going to tie back these small sections of hair from the front. So as you see right there, I am taking my comb and I'm going to separate out like little small sections from the front right there and a little from the side. And as you see right there, I'm going to go I'm going to go under just to grab a little pieces that way I have a little hair from the side. So I have one side separated out and now I'm going to separate out another a front section from the other side. And I'm also trying to look to make sure that I have them kind of evened out a little bit. I don't want the uh, front pieces to be like kind of uneven. So once I have all the hair I need for front piece for the front pieces, then I'm going to be taking an elastic and I'm going to tie them back. This is a great way to keep um, like the hair from the front out of your face because I know it can be a pain every time your hair gets into your face. So there I'm checking to make sure they're even and now I'm going to take an elastic and I'm going to tie them. And you see I'm gently like pulling um, one side back and then I'm going to gently grab the other side. I want to make sure that they are kind of a little tight just to make sure I don't have any weird pieces sticking out. And you see, once I have it, once I have it, and I'm going to turn around to show you what I'm doing. So once I have both front pieces, I am now going to going to grab an elastic and just tie them. They have an elastic, and now I'm going to turn around and just tie the pieces to the back just to show you. And I'm also kind of making sure I don't have any weird unwanted pieces caught in the whole like little ponytail. And I'm sorry, right there, my ha the hair kind of got a little caught into the elastics. So I'm trying to pull the rest of it through. So now once I have both pieces tied with the elastic, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the, flip the front pieces and twist it and twist it twice. Kind of like how you would with a topsy tail because that's kind of what I'm making it, a little topsy tail. So I'm just going to flip it under like twice. So there, I flip it under twice and you see with my fingers, I'm rubbing it, I'm rubbing the twist in between my fingers to kind of like fluff it out, loosen it up a little bit because I don't want it to be too tight. And there, that's how you do this little, this little casual hair look that I have. And you are complete. And there you have it, you guys. So that's how you do casual hair number one. And I also apologize if you couldn't really see what I was doing in the back. I did my best to try to turn around to show you what I was doing with these um, front pieces. And it's kind of hard because it's also a little hard with my chair because my chair is a little hard to turn around. So I apologize if you didn't see, if you, cut, if you had trouble seeing what I was doing. I did my best, I did my very best to try to show you what I was doing. So this is just going to be the first casual hair look that I'm going to teach you, but next week I'm going to upload a new video of my second casual hair look because I have a few casual hair looks that I like to wear. So, and my next one is going to be, it's also going to be pretty simple just like this one. So remember to, remember to keep an eye out on my channel for new videos, uh, 
because I will have new videos uploaded every Saturday. And also remember, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments and questions below, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye! Thank you.